everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Samantha and I own Not Now Therapeutics. Um, I specialize in sciatica relief for women, but I also have been a massage therapist for 23 years and I worked in physical therapy for 11 years. So one of my passions in life is helping people with chronic pain. And I'm here today to talk with you about how to be your own massage therapist. Because I don't know if you've ever had the experience where you go to different practitioners and they don't really truly know how to help you. Um, or it works for like a little bit and then it stops and then you have to go back and you don't really have a system for self-care or working on yourself or any real understanding what's truly going on with your body. So I'm here to talk with you today about how to be your own massage therapist. I'm gonna talk a little bit about a class that I teach on Wednesdays, starting to rain, yay. If it gets really loud, I apologize. And um, so I'm gonna share my screen with you and we'll get started. I'm so excited to be here. All right, I'm really great at this part, just so you know. And okay, I had it up and now I don't. Sorry. Mail.com. We're getting it. We're getting there. I promise to you, we are. I don't know where it all went, but it was right here a second ago. Perfect. Yay, us. All right, let's start this slideshow. Woohoo. Okay, how to be your own massage therapist and feel amazing in your body. I'm here to talk to you about that. Okay. So, we have to take care of our bodies, people. It is the only place we truly, truly live, right? You may change apartments, you may change houses, you may live on a boat, but the only place you truly, truly live is inside of your body that you have. And this is your job to take care of it. So would you live in this house? Oh my gosh. This house is lacking some serious maintenance. And I bet you and I both know people who live in a house like this, right? That's just kind of crumbling and falling apart. And they just feel like it's past, like you don't even know where to start, right? Or would you rather live in this house that has clearly been very well-maintained, you know? And, uh, and that's the thing about our bodies is they require maintenance. And not just, oh, I did it once, or, you know, it's daily consistent effort to working on your body. Just like you probably don't clean your house once every 15 years, right? Or something like that. So really thinking about the energy that you're putting into your body as it is your, your home and where you live. So I wanted to let you know about how dysfunction in your body comes from things that you do repetitively over time. So if you look like this person over here, constantly looking down at your phone, you are going to be this person right here that always has pain in the back of the body. If you look like this person right here who is always sitting cross-legged, you are going to be this person who has pain in your hips and probably in your back also and might have a little bit of sciatica running down the leg. So knowing that like what we do has an action on our body and that our posture really, really, really does matter. 
So I teach this class called Wellness Wednesday class. And in this class, I teach people how to identify, release the muscles and strengthen the muscles um, that are involved with different physical ailments or chronic pain issues. We learn about pain referral patterns that are associated with these conditions. And then we learn how to modify our activities of daily living and stop those habituated postures. The first one would be, you have got to stop sitting with your legs crossed. The next one would be bringing your phone up to your face like so, so you're not constantly looking down at it. Um, those are like two of the biggest things that I see with people repetitively and they wonder why they hurt, but they just don't associate their action with what's going on with them. So in my Wellness Wednesday class, like this is our schedule. So tomorrow we're doing arm and ham pain. So if you have like carpal tunnel or something like that, it's amazing class for you. And then next week we're doing back pain, which like, I mean, that's a big deal. The week after that, we're doing hip and SI joint pain. And then we do knee pain. And as we get into September, we're going to be getting down into the ankle and foot with plantar fasciitis. So this is just a broad overview um, of this class. Really, it's just a self-care class that teaches you about your body. And at the end of this presentation, we're going to do a little bit of work on the front of our bodies because many of us work on our computers and it'll be super helpful. So this class, just so you know that I teach on Wednesday nights, um, is on Zoom, but then I live stream it into a private Facebook group. So if you can't be there at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or you have something going on, you can always catch the replay in the group. And then all of those videos are available to you to do multiple times because you might forget something that I said or something's going on. And so you always have access to this material, which makes it really incredible and empowering for you to be able to work on yourself consistently because chances are you have to do dishes every day if you want a clean kitchen so it's like kind of the same thing with your body is you have to do little bitty things every day and I'm not saying that you have to spend an hour at the gym but literally like maybe 15 to 20 minutes a day working on yourself would make a huge difference in your life and so just for all intents and purposes, things that I use in class, I use rad rollers. I use this big foam roller and then this other roller. This is an air filled ball and a hard ball. You don't have to use these things. And today we're just going to be using our hands. But if you have a foam roller and you don't know what to do with it, this class is totally for you. And so we just use foam rollers and balls. And that's how I teach you how to be your own massage therapist. And you will likely know more at the end of these classes, then your massage therapist knows about pain and your doctor, to be honest. Um, so one of the things that I like for people to know is that everything you do affects your physical body. And what you don't realize is that chronic pain and chronic by chronic, chronic pain is def defined as any pain that lasts longer than two months. So what you don't realize is it comes from things that you do consistently every day, what you're eating, how you're sitting, how you're sleeping, how you stand, and how you drive. And all these little things make up big things. And you know, if you want something to change in your life, if you want to feel better in your body, then you actually physically have to change. You have to make changes in your life. I'm sorry, it's just true. So this is my client, Stacy. She comes to our Wellness Wednesday class. And what she has to say is this class is seriously everything she needs and didn't know she needed for her body. And it is the real deal. And it really is. And it's more than a cool thing you do for yourself. But like rolling is like taking a proactive approach to your health while you still have it and before you're completely broken. And I, I believe this to be true. And I also believe this to be true is that people will only change their behaviors when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of changing. And um, you can change. 
you can change the physical ailments that are happening in your body with the right education and the right support system. I promise you this information is not wasted. So what is the cost of actually being in pain? So, you know, people will go to the doctor and I mean this nicely, as nicely as I can, but if you're going to your doctor and they're only seeing you for 15 minutes and prescribing you um, like a some sort of medication and then just sending you to somebody else, that's not a productive use of your time, I don't think. And, you know, a doctor's co-payment is like, 30 to 50 bucks, you know, and um, if you went to like an urgent care for like eight out of 10 back pain, it's $200 to walk in the door. So if you don't have insurance, all these costs are going to be higher, right? Chiropractors are about 30 to $50 a visit. If you're going to see a specialist, it can be like 50 to 80 a visit. And this is just co-payments. This isn't like other things. Physical therapy can range, you know, it's like 30 to $50 a visit. And I know I used to work in physical therapy. So if your physical therapist is giving you exercises and promptly turning and walking away and not even watching you, they are not helping you and you need to find somebody else. If they're working on multiple people at the same time, that's not even legal. And so like really like seeking out the care that you need. Massage therapists can range from a hundred to $200 a visit. When I was living in Florida at the end of the, my time there, I was charging $250 a visit to go to people's homes, but they were getting something out of it. And they certainly were not in eight out of 10 pain anymore. And this isn't even like getting into like missed days at work or like the quality time with your family. Like, what is that worth? Like, who is really their best self when they're in excruciating pain? I'm here to tell you that nobody is. You're short with your family. And like being able to take a proactive approach to your health can mitigate a lot of these things for you. And you have to realize that your health is an investment and it's not an expense, right? And so investing in the right things, right? It's just like anybody says, like even with the stock market, you know, you can take big risks or little risks, right? And um, and sometimes what you're investing in isn't necessarily the right thing for you. So really thinking about that. Excuse me. Commitment precedes achievement. So you can hope and wish and dream that something will change in your life. But if you don't actually commit to changing, then nothing is really going to change. And so my Wellness Wednesday classes run on a monthly membership, and it is literally $77 a month to learn all these things. So if you signed up today, you would learn all about your arm and, and any carpal tunnel syndrome. You would learn all about your back. You would learn about your hip and your SI joint. You can learn about knee pain and plantar fasciitis. For $77, that is a dang deal right there if I ever heard of one. And you can cancel any time. And you have access to every other class. So if you were to sign up today, you would have access to every other class that is in the Facebook group as soon as you join. So it's not even just the things that are coming up, but you would have access to shoulders, neck, TMJ, headaches all of the things. And where do you sign up? At notnowtherapeutics.com. It is a monthly membership. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you a little taster of what we do. We're going to open up our chest and our necks. And so I'm going to give you a little sample of what it's like to be in class. So the first thing that we're going to talk about, because most of us spend a lot of time on our computers, is releasing our pec major. So as you can see, pec major, this big muscle, it takes up your entire chest, right? It originates underneath your clavicle and all across your sternum. And it comes over and it inserts into the bicipital groove of your humerus. What this muscle does is it internally rotates the shoulders and it pulls everything forward like this, right? So if you're sitting at a desk all day, if you're at a computer all day, these muscles are absolutely tight 
And when this pulls on the front of the body, it stretches out the backside and that's what causes tension between the shoulder blades and the back of the neck. So let's look at the pain referral patterns for our pec major. If you have any pain in the chest, any costochondritis, that's what that's called when your ribs hurt, and pain like going down into your forearm, this can be a cause of that. And then we are going to look at our sternocleidomastoid. This muscle is the number one muscle associated with headaches and migraines. Unilaterally, what it does is it brings your ear towards your shoulder and it lifts the chin. So if you're one of those people that sits, that holds your phone between your ear and your shoulder, A, you need to stop that immediately. And B, this will cause, there's my motorcycle going by. There is, this is going to cause a lot of issues in your neck. Bilaterally, what this muscle does is it pulls your head forward in space. So if you're looking at your computer all the time, looking down at your computer, this muscle is going to be shortened and tightened, and it is going to have trigger points in it. And I want you to look at the pain referral patterns for these muscles, because boy, oh boy, isn't that a headache. So if you get a tension headache that wraps around your eye, comes back from behind your ear and across the front of, the, of your forehead, it could be trigger points from your sternocleidomastoid, from looking down at your phone, from holding your phone between your ear and all of the things. So I'm gonna teach you right now how to open up and reduce tension in these muscles. Awesome. Oh, look at that. I finally learned how to go backwards. Great. So I hope that that was like a little bit of education for you. We're going to talk about just using our hands now and being our own massage therapist and opening up the chest and opening up the front of the neck. And you're going to feel so much better when we're done. So the first thing we're going to do, as we saw, our pec covers all of this space. If you're a lady, you know you're going to get into some breastfeed, but all of this space that comes over to the shoulder. So all you're going to do is just take your little hand and you're just going to push into this space. And we're just going to open it up. Pushing, pushing, pushing all the way over to that armpit. Pushing, pushing, pushing all the, oh, I feel some stuff in there. All the way over. And these are the things that a lot of massage therapists don't do is work that front part of the body for whatever's purpose. They go to the back side, but if you have pain on the back side, it's because the front's pulling you forward. So you really want to open this up. Angle. And then what you're going to do, as you can see right here, you can get a hold of that pet, right? I can grab right onto it. My hand will wrap right underneath of it right here. And you're just going to grab it and give it a little squeeze. Doesn't feel amazing, but you're gonna feel better when we're done. And give that a little squeeze. And then I'm gonna give it another little squeeze. Ladies, we have, you know, some other tissues going on here. And I'm just gonna open that up a little bit more. Great, and then we're gonna do the other side. So again, underneath that clavicle, I'm just gonna give it a little rubby rub. I'm pushing pretty hard. There's, yeah. Going from the sternum all the way out. Awesome work. And if you're just joining us, we just looked at some slides about what we're doing right now. So you can always go back and catch this little replay. And then what I'm going to do is just reach around. You could see that peck, right? I could grab onto it. It's here in the front. And I'm just gonna give that muscle a squeeze. Now, if you have fingernails, which I do not because I work on people's bodies, that's gonna be kind of painful. 
Ugh. Which is why we also use balls and other things in class. I'm just gonna give this muscle a squeeze. Now my right side is a lot more tense than my left side. Give it a couple more pushes, open it up. Yeah, and then we're gonna give this muscle a stretch. So remember this arm, uh, pecs pull everything in. So what we're going to do, we'll just do one side at a time is I'm gonna open my arm out and up. So I'm gonna put my hand on this tissue. I'm gonna open up. Great, nice 45 degree angle out of that shoulder. Great work. And then I'm gonna to come to 90 degrees and open up. And the reason why I'm gonna open all of these different directions is because pec major is a multi-pennate muscle, which doesn't mean much to you, but what it means is it comes in like this in multiple directions and splats. So if you only stretch one way, you're only stretching certain aspects of the muscle. And then we're gonna do the other side. Just gonna hold it and stretch. Great job. And stretch. Great work. And stretch. Great job. And then you can see my chest is kind of red. I bought a lot of fluid and blood flow to the area. And then we're gonna talk about the sternocleidomastoid. So mine is like amazing and it's gonna pop right out of my neck. I told you that this muscle brings your ear towards your shoulder. And then when my chin comes up and away, there it is. You saw mine pop right out. That is your sternocleidomastoid, one of the heads of it. So what we're going to do is you're gonna bring your thumb just underneath of your ear, your opposite hand, and lay your hand across the side of your neck, just like that. I'm gonna let my head drop to the side and then I'm gonna twist my chin up and feel that muscle pop right into your hand. That's your sternocleidomastoid, that's what it does. So I feel that muscle and then I'm gonna relax everything because I don't wanna push out of that muscle and I'm just going to give it a squeeze. So I'm pinching this little tube of a muscle, right? And you have to soften your head to the side and you might feel I feel that pain referral pattern. If you remember, we looked at that pain referral pattern coming around the neck. And then I'm just going to work down that muscle. Great job. And now I'm going to switch my hands, right? Because I know where it is. If I lost it, I can just drop my head to the side, twist up. Oh, there it is. Right, and I'm just gonna give that muscle a squeeze. Now, if you sit at a computer all day, this is gonna be feeling amazing for you. Yay. Perfect. Right, and then I'll show you mine again because I followed it down. So if I tear my head, and there it is, you see that muscle right there. That's exactly what it does. Mm-hmm, woo, amazing stuff. So I just give it a squeeze, just like this, just like I'm pinching between my fingers. Everybody appreciates this. Let's do the other side and I will show you again on me. If I bring my ear to my shoulder and lift that chin there, you saw it pop right out. That's that muscle. If you don't know where the muscle is, then you just activate it. And in class, I teach you how. So sternocleidomastoid comes off the mastoid process right behind your ear. So you put one hand just right in the back of the jaw let that ear fall towards your shoulder and lift the chin away. You'll feel that muscle pop right into your hand. That's where it lives. And then you want to relax it because you don't want to put pressure on a muscle that's activated. It's never going to let you into it. You want it to be softened. So I'm just going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 
So again, sternocleidomastoid is the number one muscle associated with headaches and migraines. So if you have headaches and you have migraines, this is going to be an important muscle for you in your life. I'm going to switch hands. And you can see my muscle, right? Ooh, Nelly. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Great work. And now what we're going to do is give it a gentle stretch. So because it attaches here to the clavicle, sternocleido, and the sternum, you want to hold your clavicle and your sternum down. So I put one hand over the top of my clavicle and over my sternum, and I put my other hand on top. Otherwise, it's just going to move, right? And if it goes like this, then I want to lift up and away like this. Oh, my neck just popped. All right. So what I'm going to do is hold that down, take a nice deep breath. And as I exhale, I'm going to lift my chin up and away. Very nice. And inhale. And I'm going to lean my head the other way and turn my chin the other way. Great job. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Another thing that I like to do here is really close my jaw or push my jaw forward in space. So let's do the other side. I'm going to place my hand over top of the clavicle, which is right here, this nice flat bone, right? And then I'm going to bring my other hand on top, take a nice deep breath. And then lift up and away, turn that chin the other way. Close that mouth, push the jaw. Mm -hmm. Inhale and lift up and away. Mm. And inhale one more time and lift up and away. And then come back to center, roll those shoulders back, give that head a little turny turn. And that should really help you to open up your chest, open up your neck and reduce the pressure on the back of your neck and the back of your shoulders. And that's a brief little taste of what Wellness Wednesday is all about. So if you really enjoyed this Facebook Live or you found value in this and you want to become a member of Wellness Wednesday, then I will put a link down there where you can, uh, in the comments, so that you can become a member. And I will also put a link to our Not Now Therapeutics community if you want to just be, have like a place where you go to get like free tips and tricks and things like that. I keep everybody updated in our Not Now Therapeutics community. And I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that helps you in your life. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your Tuesday and every other day. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to hear from you.